The only reason that perfume is not commonplace today is because the industry is a monopoly and been ripping off the clients at 1500 Rand for a product that costs 20 Rand to make. The way you smell, I think, becomes part of your signature, it becomes part of your identity. And that's why it's important. We invited Megan, a familiar face from our television screens, to share with us what perfume means to her. Perfume was reserved for special occasions in, in my house. So if I was going to a prize giving or I was performing in a play, I'd always wear my mom's perfume. The first fragrance I bought for myself was uh, Spice Girls had just come out with an aerosol through impulse, <laughs> and that's what I wore. Hi, my name is Katleo Sohoto, and I am sitting with Simon Moritz, who is the CEO of Fine Fragrance Collection. Simon, welcome. Thank you for having me. Why have you made it your cause to take on the big brands? Why are you fighting them? If not me, who? Who fights on the side of the consumer? At the end of the day, I think the consumer is being ripped off. What evidence do you have that consumers are being ripped off? Well, the liquid inside a bottle of perfume costs 20 Rand. They're buying it for 1500. Where's all the money going? You know, as an entertainer, there are months where you're going to go without work. I think anyone that's entering the workforce will have, will feel this feeling. Basically, at that time, you were choosing between, you know, transport and food and an expensive bottle of perfume. So the choice is really obvious. Take me through the price of a 50 milliliter bottle of a designer brand perfume in South Africa. So the average price for a 50 ml bottle of perfume in South Africa, designer perfume, is 1500 Rand. Mm -hmm. Do you think the consumer understands why they're paying that amount? So not at all. When we've done consumer research and we ask the consumer how much do they think the liquid inside a bottle of 1500 Rand perfume costs to make, the number is 600 Rand. In reality, it's around about 20. Simon, I, I won't lie to you. I'm skeptical when a, a bottle of perfume is too cheap because I understand perfume to be pricey. How do you respond to that kind of skepticism? The only reason that you're skeptical is because the perfume industry is a monopoly. You have never been accessed good quality designer perfume at a reasonable price. And therefore, you believe it's too good to be true. My line of work requires me to be extremely physical. So you want to smell good all the time. But with a cheap perfume, the one thing that you know is gonna happen is a headache and nausea. <laughs> So there you are trying to do your job, running around, and there's this nausea and headache, and you know, you know it's the cheap perfume. So Simon, explain to us how perfume is actually made. The way you make perfume is taking a concentrate called perfume oil, and you mix that with alcohol. Mm -hmm. And that's really how you do it. And that concentrate that comes from those multinational companies, they supply the original designer perfume industry, and they supply the smell alike industry like myself. So now the formulas for creating these perfumes for the big brands, so the recipes, are those a secret or are they known? These perfumers that create these products, uh, who then sell them to the brands, generally offer the very same sense to the smell alike industry. How do you think then the consumer feels about finding out the true cost of a perfume? When we told them the price actually wasn't 600, it was actually less than 20 Rand, they were dumbfounded, they couldn't believe it. What is the consumer essentially paying for? Perfume is an aspiration, and I think that's what the, the industry has tried to do over the years. Like any aspirational product, there's a cost to the product and then there's the aspiration. So the consumer, in my opinion, is really paying for aspiration. They're not paying for the actual perfume. Mm -hmm. You know, to be able to afford that level of exclusivity 
to be able to afford that level of class. For me, I thought it was for the more established, for the ones that were getting their careers right, you know. Simon, perfume is something that gives me some kind of self-identity. If everyone has this kind of fragrance, a fine fragrance collection, it's no longer exclusive to me. That, how would you respond to that? Once we offer perfume to the masses, the aspiration will disappear. But in my opinion, that's a price worth paying. entrepreneurs and so we were looking at different businesses that we could get involved in and when we looked at the perfume industry that seemed like an industry that had inflated the prices to a point where the consumer could no longer afford them yes they're expensive and we decided that that was an industry where we could compete what are we paying for we're paying for quality we're paying for the name we're paying for packaging and I think all those points are valid when it comes to pricing what is the difference between a fake perfume and generic perfume? So a fake perfume is a counterfeit perfume. So that is when the customer comes into, uh, into an outlet and gets told that this is a bottle that resembles the original bottle and walks out thinking that they may have actually bought the original bottle of perfume. A generic perfume is one where the customer walks into an outlet and purchases something knowing that it is not the original that is just purely the generic of the original. I think it's a good thing, however I've got questions. What is the average dosage of the branded designer perfumes? The average dosage on all of the designer perfumes when we sent them to a lab in Italy to check them out, the average dosage is 20%. So 20% perfume oil and 80% alcohol. Is it the right quality? Does it infringe on intellectual property? Why does the generic perfume industry have such a bad name or bad reputation? So we estimate in South Africa that there are approximately 70,000 people that make perfume. You can get into my business for around about 500 Rand. And when you get those type of people coming into the industry, they're not trying to build a brand. Mm. So the consumer when confronted with the generic industry gets told by one of these 70,000 people that this smells like, and let's use a, a name that's well known, Chanel Number no. 5. And a lot of the times, and in fact, most of the times, it does not. And is it ethical? Do you think it's ethical? Should generic products not exist? Is that the question you're asking me? You look at Versace, you look at Pakoraban. They are based on people with legacies who've created these things over many, many years. So I'm asking you, as a generic brand that then rips off, or kind of rips off, is that ethical from your perspective? Who's ripping who off? Let me put it to you this way. If an artist paints a picture, then paints the identical picture, goes and sells it to the people on the street, which one is the original? The people who make the oils for the big brands sell the copies. So you think copying is okay? Of course it is. It's, it's what industry is all about. Let's just say for the point of this conversation, you didn't have the money to be able to afford the original of medication. And a family member, heaven forbid, got sick and you couldn't afford the original. Should you be excluded from the marketplace? Is but, that the world we're in? But Simon, medication and perfume are totally different. The principle's the same. It's, medication is a necessity. Perfume, mm, not so much. Okay, so let's, let's then play this out this way. So we can copy everything as long as it's really, really necessary. Are printer cartridges necessary? I would say they are. Okay, motor car parts? I would say they are. Okay, but perfume not. I can walk around without perfume. Oh, there's no doubt, but, that, but the principle remains the same. The reality is, why did we invent soap? Why do we have deodorant? We as the human species like to smell nice. And if we can access that product to many, many people that up until now have not been able to buy perfume, I think I'm doing the right thing. So to come back to your original question, do I think that we are an ethical business? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Are we making the ethical choice? Absolutely. And we will continue to do that. 
Well, look, Simon, I, I get that you're passionate about perfume and that for you, it sounds like it is a necessity. But if I'm bathing every day, I brush my teeth every day, the, my necessities are covered. Perfume, it's an extra. Well, up until the 1920s, soap was an extra. When did soap become commonplace? The only reason that perfume is not commonplace today is because the industry is a monopoly and been ripping off the clients at 1,500 Rand for a product that costs 20 Rand to make. Perfume is a very intimate product. It's like being in a relationship. When somebody comes close to your skin, you have to get to know them first, learn to trust them. Generics, why do they not last as long, perhaps, on the skin? The designer brands dose at an average of 20%. We dose at an average of 35%. Our, our generics last longer on the skin. Mm -hmm. But some people do dose as low as 2%, then it won't last at all. We invited Megan to visit us at the Fine Fragrance Collection head office and get to know our quality perfumes a little better. quality perfume oils does Fine Fragrance Collection use? As far as we're aware, we're the only generic company in South Africa that uses A-grade oils, which is the oils that you should use for a designer perfume. Hi, welcome. Thank you. Hi, my name's Grant from Fine Fragrance Collection. How are you? I'm Megan and I am curious. How much does Fine Fragrance Collection sell at? Well, what is the cost? About a year ago, we were selling our perfumes at 140 Rand for a 30 ml bottle. Mm -hmm. And then after COVID, we came back and started selling them for 50 Rand. Why did you drop that price? When we came back after COVID, we were a business that was struggling like every other retail business. And then I said to, to my business partner, you know, the cost of a bottle of perfume is 28 Rand. We're selling it for 140, so we make about 110 Rand a bottle. Mm -hmm. Why don't we run an experiment and drop the price to 50 Rand and then see what happens? And so we did a promotion last year in Cresta Centre in September to see what would happen. We said that if we did at least five or six times more, we would then be happy and we would look to do that because then we could lower the price to the consumer. In reality, what happened? We sold 22 times more. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, people were being accessed to good quality designer perfume at a price that they could afford. And we made, then made the decision after that promotion to drop the price to 50 Rand. We mix up perfume by using perfume oil, mm -hmm. which comes in these 25 litre drums, and we add alcohol to that. We put it all into here and stir it until the consistency is right. Okay. Once that's done, we pour it into these drums and take it through to our production line, which is this way. As you can see, this is filled with 30 mils of perfume every time. The nozzles are put onto the bottle and then it's crimped. What is crimping? The crimping is when the bottle gets sealed. All right, so nothing can go in here? No, nothing can go in. So it's tamper-proof? Tamper-proof, yes. This is our label machine that labels the bottles automatically. This is where it all comes out and gets put into these shippers. And, and how many bottles are actually in this box? We get 100 in each box. And how many are producing per day? On a good lay, more than 17,000. So Simon, tell me, where do you sell your perfumes? We've got nine stores and then we sell online. The reason we've only got nine stores is because there's been pushback from the industry so today when we go and ask those centres, can we bring our 50 Rand perfume to, uh, to your centres, most of the centres say no to us. Why do you say it is difficult to secure that retail space in, in shopping centres? Let's just say you've got Fashini that's got 4,000 outlets and they're selling perfumes out there at 1,500 Rand and they're paying huge rentals. Those shopping centres know that when we come into those centres very quickly, that consumer is going to start purchasing our products at 50 Rand. Mm -hmm. And those retailers will come under pressure 
and rentals will come under pressure. And so that's why there's this pushback from the industry. But it harms the consumer because they can't access good quality perfume for 50 Rand. And these are our orders from today. But just from today? Just from today. I had no idea that this business was so huge. So how do you test, Simon, to make sure that your perfumes smell the same, exactly the same as the original? The only way that you can check whether a perfume smells the same is to do what we call a three-way blind test. Mm -hmm. So what we do, we buy a bottle of original, we take three cards, we spray the original onto two cards and the generic onto a third card or the other way around. Then we hand that out to a panel of people and we see whether they can pick the wrong one out. Mm -hmm. If they can pick the wrong one out, then we know it's not a match. Now that you've seen the process of how we make our fragrances in a factory, would you like to test? Absolutely. Okay, so let me see what I'm actually familiar with here. Uh, this one. The original Be Delicious. Our generic Be Delicious. What do you think? They actually smell the same. They do. Change for Megan is going to be difficult. How does she let go of the brand she has grown to trust over many years? We believe the more pertinent question to ask is, why pay over 20 times more for what we believe is an inferior quality perfume? So I could carry on paying for these original brands, but what am I paying for? Exclusivity? Simon, I understand you're going to challenge the big brands now. How are you going to do this? So we're going to uh, publish an open letter in the Sunday Times, and we're going to ask the brands to prove to the South African consumer that our perfumes don't smell the same and that they don't last longer. And we're going to call them out on the top 20 men's and the top 20 ladies' designer perfumes. Mm -hmm. Taking a leap of faith, Megan decided to visit one of our fine fragrance collection promotions at Menland Park Shopping Centre. And now I know you're hesitant to answer this, but if they do fight dirty, what will you do? We, we don't know what they will do. We have no idea at how they will come at us. But we will find a way and we will hopefully get the consumer on our side. I think in this case, it really is that we have to win this war, which I think is an actual war against the industry by getting consumers on our side. It has to be that. At 50 Rand per bottle, they're basically giving perfume away. I just want to know what's the catch. Sounds almost like you're sensationalizing the matter. Wouldn't you agree? Absolutely. We are sensationalizing it. That's the real reason we're doing it. We want the consumer to get involved. How else do we expose this industry for what they are? So, so you've obviously used the original yes. before. And how much did it cost you? A fortune. So what brought you here? The fact that I could get something closer to my brand and it's affordable at a much cheaper price. What fragrance did you buy today from Fine Fragrance Collection? Uh, Eros and Light Blue. All right, and have you used the original before? Yes, I have. Does it smell the same and is it the same quality? That's what I'm trying to find out here. Yeah, it smells the same. All right, and quality-wise, what do you think of the product? Yeah, it lasts. It lasts when you use it. All right, and tell me about the quality, because what did you get? Uh, it's for Tom Ford uh -huh. and only the brand, is it? And, and have you used these fragrances before, the originals? Yes, I have. And tell me something, because this is what I want to find out. Does it smell the same? No, it doesn't smell the same. 
All right. These ones are actually much stronger. Than They're much stronger. Yeah. 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 And does it smell the same? That's yes. what I'm trying to find out. Does yes, it smell the it same? Yes, it does. That is why I keep on coming back. We just hope that the consumer in the years to come will be able to access good quality perfume at a reasonable price. If we achieve that, then we've achieved our objective.